to when somebody's in a situation where their energy burden is, you know, five times what it is for a more wealthy person. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there, there are ethical questions to me about how far you want to go with with sticks, <clears throat> person, uh, because you're you're increasing the risk. They may not have the opportunity. There may be things in their way to prevent them from making that switch. Uh, they may just be at the you know uh, at the end of a two or three year waiting list to get a project. Um, so there are lots of those kinds of things that fit in, and uh, I, I just think that we need to protect the, the lower income folks in the state. Five hundred folks living within a one mile circle of McNeil Generating Plant suffer. These are low income people. Many are BIPOC, work three to four jobs to provide a roof over their head, mostly living in Section Eight housing. Food is hard to come by for these people. They can't imagine having money for a car or say nothing about an electric car, solar panel, heat pump, or any other new technology that are being promoted. They don't know where their next meal is coming from. They rely on the free and reduced meals at school. I ask you, where is the equity here? Who is going to pick them up and help them through this crisis? It certainly is not S5 the way it is written. 